Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Sister Annabelle Ines from Zambia. If you are a returning subscriber, I say thank you so much for returning. And if you are a new subscriber, I say thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are just watching and you've not subscribed, please, I urge you to subscribe, turn on your notification bells, like it, and drop comments. If you have any question, you can drop them in a comment section so today we have a very interesting topic and this topic is urinalysis we want to do urinalysis we want to know the parameters of urinalysis if you are asked to do urinalysis in the world what all these the glucose the proteins the leukocytes uh mean on on this bottle so this is a bottle of urinalysis where you're going to find the strips for urinalysis so first first thing first we are going to define urinalysis so definition differs to who taught you who taught who or where did you hear it from so urinalysis according to me this is an examination of urine done to determine the general health of the body specifically the kidneys yeah so it's an examination of urine to determine the general health of the body specifically the kidney functioning to me that is urinalysis so urinalysis as components so we are going to talk about the color we're going to talk about the smell then we are going to talk about the chemical particles so the color of urine is supposed to be pale yellow. Yes, when you are well dehydrated, the color is supposed to be pale yellow. If you are dehydrated, then the color, the color will move from pale yellow to dark amber. To dark amber. Then the smell, the smell is straw when the urine, when the urine is well. Uh, when the urine is normal or pale yellow or well diluted but if the urine is concentrated the 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 smell change to ammonia ammonia yeah like a m m i a m m o n i a ammonia i don't know how you pronounce it but that's the word and then the, for the chemical particles you're going to check your urine if it has any blood in it any pus in it anything if if there are any particles in it so you check your urine if it has any part in it so after we've, uh, we've collected the urine and we've gone now to do urinalysis let's do urinalysis so you're supposed to dip this strip this strip you're supposed to to dip in this strip for two seconds so when you dip this strip in urine for two seconds then you'll get your bottle you'll get your bottle you'll be seeing like this so i'll do this so you get your bottle then along with the parameters there there are time under each 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 parameter there is time that you need to observe for you to get the correct reading so if you're checking for glucose you have to wait for five seconds so 45 seconds for glucose 45 seconds for bilirubin 45 seconds for ketones 45 seconds for specific gravity and then you have to wait for 60 seconds to check for for blood then 60 seconds for proteins then 60 seconds for urobilinogen then you have to wait for 60 seconds to check for nitrates then you have to wait for 60 i mean for two minutes to check for leukocytes leukocytes are white blood cells so in urine sometimes you can find white blood cells so when you dip in the strip yeah i'll do this hope we are seeing these colors on the strip is equivalent to the colors of the bottom so any abnormalities for the colors on the strip who arrange to the any abnormalities here each abnormalities of a certain for example proteins you will find it here so you move your strip if you find that there is 
any any abnormality to a certain parameter that you are checking in so you can be moving your strip like this so let's begin we're going to do this hope you are seeing and it's clear yes so presence of leukocytes in the blood i mean presence of leukocytes in the urine leukocytes which are white blood cells indicates infection so it can be infection of the uti yes urinary tract infection or it can be infection in the bladder so presence of white blood cells which are leukocytes in the urine indicates infection number two it's nitrate so presence of nitrate in the in urine indicates urinary tract infection caused by bacteria so even nitrates when they are present uh, uh, there is presence of nitrates in urine indicates infection presence of euro eurobilogen I don't know how to pronounce this way so it's something so presence of urobilogen which you have to check after 60 seconds indicates the breakdown of red blood cells the breakdown of red blood cells which may be due to the river disease to the liver disease or the damage on the uh, the damage of the bowel into the gut such as gallstones so presence of urobilogen Eulobilinogen, yeah, indicates the the liver disease or the damage on the damage of the bowel into the gut. So it's a breakdown of the red blood cells. Then we move to proteins. So presence of proteins in the urine indicates the damage on the glomerular filtration barrier where the 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 the, 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 the urine is filtered yes if the because proteins are um a large a large yes they are large in shape so they cannot be filtered on the glomerular but if you find that they are on the filtration bay they are filtered then there's damage on the glomerular filtration barrier yes so this 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 damage can be due to GM diabetes mellitus it can be to kidney disease or kidney damage it can be to due to hypertension it can be due to eclampsia yes so you will find protein in urine so we move to protein in urine we go for pH pH you're supposed to check pH after 60 seconds yes so pH range from 5.0 to 8.0. That's the normal. It's considered to be normal. 5.0 or 8.0 is considered to have normal pH. So, acidic nature, literally the, the urine is slightly acidic. But if the urine is more acidic, acidic nature of urine may, be, may indicate the... The formation of urinary stones, yes, it can be the formation of urinary stones. Although, although it can, it can be due to maybe environmental, environmental, environmental factors. I would say like that, yes. So then we move from pH of urine, we will go to blood. So presence of blood in urine indicates it can indicate trauma. It also it can also indicate damage on the filtration barrier. It can also uh, cause or it can also be due to uh, clotting disorders. Yes, and then it can also be to urinary tract uh, damage or renal damage. Yeah. So initially, presence of blood. In urine can be due to trauma somewhere in the bladder the urinary tract or on the glomerular filtration bay so 
we move from blood to specific gravity specific gravity you're supposed to check it after 45 seconds and then this can indicate the dehydration or hydration of someone so if you are hydrated your your urine will be um will be well diluted which is pale yellow in color and if you are if you are if you are dehydrated your urine will be more concentration you concentrated so this can also be due to environmental factors or some drugs like tb drugs will change the urine color yes and then the normal range for you uh, specific gravity of urine it's 1.001 or 1.035 1.001 or 1.035 that's the normal specific gravity of urine then we move to ketones yes so ketones you are supposed to check for ketones after 45 seconds presence of ketones in urine indicates uncontrolled diabetes or diabetic ketoacidosis yes so the presence of uh, these chemicals because ketones are chemicals that are formed during the abnormal breakdown of fat yes proteins are chemicals that are formed during the abnormal breaking down of fat so this can be due to starvation those if you were fasting if you are fasting yes so your body is very hungry and then it intends to use the to break down the fats that is stored in your body to make carbohydrate yes to make energy so it can be due to starvation it can be due to pregnancy it can be due to vomiting or uncontrolled diabetes mellitus you will find ketones so away from ketones we go to bilirubin yes we go to bilirubin you're supposed to check bilirubin for 45 seconds and then the presence of bilirubin in the in in urine indicates the breakdown of red blood cells so this can be due to the problem of the drainage of bowel into the gut such as gallstones or it may be effectively not removed in the river so it's due to the breakdown of red blood cells in the body then we move to glucose which is i think it's the last one yeah we move to glucose so glucose you're supposed to check it for 45 seconds yeah so presence of glucose in the in the in the in urine it's called glucuria glucuria yeah so a glucose it uh, indicates uh, um, it can be due to pregnancy and then it can also indicate the uh, endocrine abnormalities it can be also to hyperglycemia poor controlled diabetes that can lead to glucose in the urine so these are the parameters that you do so if you dip in and then you count with your nurse's watch somewhere you count for 45 seconds so we see that we have one two three four five that we need to to check for 45 seconds or after 45 seconds so immediately after 45 seconds you move your strip you move your strip to the line where it's 45 seconds so if you see any abnormalities you just go direct to the color you go you move to the color and then that's the result that you've gotten when you're doing your urinalysis so urinalysis is a daily routine word procedure that we do on people who, who who have diabetes mainly and other other kidney or renal diseases Hope you've gotten something. Please don't forget to invite others. And if you are just watching, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Don't forget to like it until that like turns blue. Don't forget to drop comments if you have any questions for me or you need any clarity on anything. This channel is created for us to know diseases. So if you have any disease that you would love me to present 
on this channel please you can just drop that in a comment section and i promise i promise i'm going to respond and i'm going to present it if i've not yet presented it so from me to you it's bye and god bless you